Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, Manus Bobby. Guys, today we're going to react to Mercy Halal Islamic Slaughter by Mercy Halal. Guys, usually when I react to videos, I see them for the very first time. However, this video I have watched before, but it is already roughly four years ago. I was absolutely embedded in Orthodox Christianity. I had no interest whatsoever to look into Islam, into Islamic slaughter and whatnot but somebody i can't remember who it was recommended this video to me looking at this video back in the day i was absolutely amazed with the technique but at the same time i was critiquing it and i was making the claim so what if he says bismillah he could probably say something else it would still work since then i haven't watched that video so i'm really curious to revisit this video and see it with a fresh perspective with no further ado let's have a look Okay, I will be lunch time. Okay. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu jamian. God's blessings and mercy upon you, all my human brothers and sisters. Today I'm going to share with you a video, an amazing video of two parts, about the authentic Islamic slaughter procedure on lambs and goats. On the first video, we're going to illustrate the power of God's name as the only method of submission before slaughter. On the um, second video, we're going to show you the authentic Islam, the complete authentic Islamic slaughter procedure only using God's name upon slaughter. Exactly the same way the, all the prophets have done for thousands of years. Abraham, Noah, Moses, Jesus and Muhammad, peace upon all of them. Not using stun guns or hammers or any other equipments electrical equipments only using simply only using God's name upon slaughter before we proceed I would like to mention that all the scriptures Torah Bible and Quran has been preaching of one God he is the he is the only creator of all creations and he is the one that worthy of being worshipped and thanked by all his creations. Amen. And he also created lambs and goats as a blessing for humans for the purpose of food and clothing. Uh, the scriptures also preaches about humane treat treatment of animals. And as a humans we only have the right to slaughter him in God's name to be mentioned before slaughter. God's name can be mentioned in different languages and it will have the same effect. You can say God's name in English, Arabic, Hebrew, French, Chinese, as long as the slaughter have a strong faith in the word itself and of the creator and mention it, it will have the same effect and the same submission effect of the animals. Makes it's an sense. amazing word and it will have the same effect in different languages. These animals are bilingual and they all know God's name when it's mentioned, no matter what language. And they always feel the heart of the slaughterer if he believes in that word or he doesn't. Once the belief is there, the faith is there and the word is mentioned, it's guaranteed effect and a guaranteed submission. La ilaha illallah. Allahu Akbar. <laughs> Man, re-watching this, the first time that I saw it a couple of years ago, I said that this guy looks like the Islamic Jesus. At that point, I didn't even know that there is a Jesus within Islam. I simply thought that Jesus is only found in Christianity. And I said, well, if there would be a Muslim Jesus, then this guy must be it. But now listening to those words, understanding what Allahu Akbar means, it is very, very beautiful and heart-touching listening to this guy. I have yet again to reaffirm this man is truly the Islamic Jesus. It's beautiful. We're going to take these animals, run them inside as a group. We're not going to separate an animal from each other. 
Um, every animal, every creation would like to have a partner, except the Almighty Lord. So to really maintain these animals to be calm, you always have to trap to make him travel with a group. You don't separate anyone from the other. Definitely not one by himself. That would really make him very tense. It has to be two or more, minimum. Very, very interesting because when I started looking into humane slaughter, for people that don't know, I used to be a vegan, shame on me, for four years straight. But the reason why I went vegan was because I couldn't look at this industrial scale slaughter. So later on, when I found out that veganism essentially is wrecking my human health, I returned to eating meat yet again. But I was looking into humane slaughter methods. And within those so-called humane slaughter methods, people actually isolated the animals so the other animals do not see how you slaughter the animals. So it was really, really important to isolate the animal. And he, on the other hand, claims that it's much more beneficial to take them in pairs. Both theories make sense if you listen to them from their angle. What we're going to do, we're going to take the, uh, the mamas, we're going to bring them over here, and we're going to make them submit uh, on the ground over this is total submission. Total submission. <laughs> I love this guy, man. This guy is ready for anything <laughs> to be done to him. And he's not nervous, he's not resisting. He's in total relaxation. It's no really, panic. really impressive to see that the goat simply submits even though her eyes are covered as well. It's just laying there, it's not kicking, not screaming, even though it must be disoriented because it doesn't see anything. It is not panicking. Supremely impressive. As I said back in the day when I watched this video, I said, oh well, who cares if he says Bismillah or whatever. Ultimately, it is his technique. But I think that this is much more than just his technique. Come on, whatsoever. See, I let him go, he gets up. <laughs> some. Abdul Wahid, you want to do him? No, you need to show to a skeptical person. Bismillah. Allah. Allah. Oh, it's okay, baby. It's okay. I'm not doing anything huh? yet. Bismillah. Allahu Akbar. Okay. It's okay, baby. Same reaction. They all react the same. The power of the word. They're more religious than most humans. Total submission. Please watch vegans. These guys had a little. Uh, they come from a bigger ranchers, so they're a little bit wild. They're not used to uh, be touched and handled by humans. And uh, for them to turn around and just lay down like... Really in total peace. Answering the calling. Definitely. The power of the word gets clearer and clearer <laughs> after, after you see more and more submit. 
Tell me that this is not the craziest Probably thing you've some ever of seen. You are wondering by now about the Arabic words that I use that makes the animals submit the way they did. I used to. The first uh, not uh, anymore. term we use, and this is really uh, the authentic uh, uh, procedure, one of the terms of authentic procedure that is being mentioned in the scripture, is in the name of God the greatest, which is Bismillah, Allahu Akbar. There's another prayer that I usually use, and it's my favorite prayer and my animal's favorite prayer. It says, Bismillah alladhi la yadurru ma ismihi shay'un fil ardi wa la fil samai wa huwa samia al alim. The beauty of this prayer really shows some of the power of the word itself. It says, In the name of God, who is with his name, no harm will come, not, neither in this earth nor in the skies. And he's the one that hears and listens, and he's the most knowledgeable. This is really a wonderful prayer. Uh, it, it really it is. is very effective, and I will illustrate the power of it as we go on part two also. Man, this guy is so human. It's really beautiful to see. It's a human in his natural habitat doing what a human should do. It's amazing. We don't see this in our cities anymore. This guy in the auction when we bought him from our rancher, it weighed over 300 pounds, and it's usually gonna weigh more now because he was fed and he's been having fun, eating alfalfa and everything. He's probably 10 pounds larger than <laughs> what it was in the auction. I weigh 190 pounds. So any dealing with this guy, he has to help out. Otherwise, there's no chance anybody can really restrain him or force Huge. him to do anything that he doesn't want to do. He's going to do exactly what he instantly wants to do. Monster. So if this guy submit, the power of the word is clear. This is a 300 pound animal. For me to drop him down on the floor to start submission, it's almost impossible for one person to do it. I'm going to ask Abdul Wahid to help out for the initial submission, and then he's going to withdraw and the animal is going to respond by himself. It's a shame that it's so windy, man. Look at that meat, man. Huge. I'm putting only a finger on the ear and this guy if he wants to get up I don't think any anybody is capable <laughs> to get him back down. Probably not. Except two people as strong as me and Abdul Wahid to be able to submit this animal on the floor. But now, he's totally answering the calling. <laughs> and he's happy with it. There's no breathing hard, if you know this. True, true. The lungs is not breathing hard. 
He's in total submission. Wow. And this is it for today's video. I have to say it is much more impressive to watch it now with the knowledge that I gathered over the past year learning about Islam. It was already impressive to watch it back in the day. The conclusion is still the same. This man is the Islamic Jesus. His name should be Isa for sure. It is absolutely beautifully done. I would really hope that all meat would be slaughtered like this. Unfortunately, I'm sure even halal meat nowadays on an industrial scale is not slaughtered slaughtered like this. This is a family farm and therefore I really want to urge you if you can to support family farms, halal family farms in this case of course, to really put your money into things that you value because this is really beautiful. This is really what we humans are made to be. We are not those vicious slaughterhouse machines that simply destroy billions and billions of animals with an uncompassionate inhumane way. I believe that if we have the chance we should definitely support things like these. All right, guys, but this is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to further support this channel via Patreon, for example, all the links are in the description box below. As always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.